morning, everybody. Uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome you here. I am Mohammed Ghali, Professor of Islam and Biomedical Ethics in the Center, in the Research Center for Islamic Legislation and Ethics. And uh, the, um, uh, very happy uh, uh, to welcome you here in the first Kyle Winter School. Uh, welcome for everyone. Um, I will just say a few words before I give the floor to Dr. Sam Rashwani to start the first session in this uh, summer school. First of all, um, uh, greetings from Dr. Imad, the director of the center and the dean of the college. Unfortunately, he couldn't be with us in this session. Hopefully, he will be able to join us in one of the coming days and to see you all. So uh, welcome and greetings from him as well. I, will, I would just want to say a few words about the, the Winter School and about the Research Center in general. Our Research Center, Research Center for Islamic Legislation and Ethics, its acronym, we call it KILA, C-I-L-A. This is how we used to pronounce it. Um, um, uh, we work on uh, three main fronts, so we conduct research, we are a research center, so we conduct research. We do outreach activities for academics, for students, for general public, and we do teaching. I will keep the teaching for the last because this is the relevant uh, aspect to this winter school. Uh, um, I will start with um, a research. Uh, we conduct research, so we have professors. Uh, at the moment, we have professor in uh, bioethics, that's me. And we have professor in methodology of Islamic ethics, Dr. Mu'taz al Khati, And we have Dr. Ray Juraidini, who is professor in uh, mi migration and human rights. And uh, we have, at the moment, two visiting uh, professors, Dr. Mukhtar Ali and Dr. Samir Rashwani. And you will hear from all these five uh, during this um, uh, winter school. But we also, um, besides the research that we ourselves conduct and the publications that we make, we are also, uh, um, um, we create a podium for publications and for conducting research through external researchers. We have every year um, a number of um, what we call interdisciplinary seminars where we invite um, um, uh, researchers from worldwide through call for papers to come and um, discuss issues related to Islamic ethics and other fields like um, um, uh, environment, psychology, all other issues related to uh, Islamic ethics. Through our website, you can see all these activities. Uh, we also have a book series called Studies in Islamic Ethics, and we have a journal of Islamic ethics, both published by Brill. We have already published um, uh, the first book in the series. It was Islamic Ethics and the Genome Question. We published uh, the first uh, three issues, uh, uh, the first six issues of the journal, three volumes of the journal. They are all peer-reviewed publications, and they are all available via open access. You can just download them for free, the PDF from uh, the website of Brill, and you can see them through our website as well. In outreach, uh, we have um, our international conference, which is open for the general public. We have um, almost on a monthly basis a public lecture or seminar in which also we have interactive communication with the um, uh, general audience. We have our own website, which has uh, and our own social media, which has very good um, uh, traffic. And we have the teaching, which is the main focus of our activity here, and this is one of its activities. We started in the College of Islamic Studies with a concentration or track within the program of Islamic Studies, an MA program, and it worked quite well. The concentration, it was called uh, Islamic Thought and Applied Ethics. The, b because of the success of the concentration, uh, the, the college encouraged us to apply for an independent MA program in applied Islamic ethics, and we did that. 
It took us about two years or two years and a half, the process, going through uh, different layers of review within the college, uh, within the university, and also through external reviewers. At the end, we got the approval for starting the MA program and all the accreditation process through the Ministry of Education here. And we started this year. September this year was the beginning and the launch of the MA program in Applied Islamic Ethics. Uh, so that's why it was natural that the first uh, Kyle Winter School that it will, ha will have a focus on um, this MA program and uh, teaching, the type of teaching that we do. That's why we have also um, uh, drafted and, and designed the Winter School in a way that uh, looks like the way we teach. Uh, we start with theoretical ethics and then we move to applied ethics, etc. We can get into details about this later. Uh, in, in, in our MA program, um, um, uh, Applied Islamic Ethics, we, have, uh, um, uh, we accept students from worldwide, from all over the world. And uh, I hope that the students who will attend, our own students uh, in the program, you will see them in the last session in the winter school as per the program. Some of them unfortunately couldn't come because they finished their MA. Some of them are now doing their PhD uh, somewhere else, uh, went back to their country, so we couldn't bring all of them. Those who are here, you will see them. They, are, they come from different specializations, uh, different backgrounds, also ethnic backgrounds, not just educational backgrounds. And um, uh, we have also locals, uh, students who are uh, either Qataris, they are living, or just residents living here. And we offer also scholarships, scholarships for students who live in Qatar, and scholarships who st for students who come from outside Qatar. International scholarships cover everything. So it covers the fees, it covers the um, 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 uh, flight tickets, uh, I think once a year. Uh, for the person and um, um, uh, accommodation, everything. It covers everything. Uh, so it's a bit competitive, uh, but we have a number of scholarships for international students. Our students, during their study, uh, they have various opportunities. Uh, they have, for instance, the opportunity to go for a visit, I think, for a couple of weeks or maybe a month uh, for Oxford University because of uh, collaboration between our college and the University of Oxford. I think now they go to the Center for Middle Eastern and Islamic Studies there. Um, uh, we are now in the process of uh, making agreements with the University of Leuven uh, at Belgium, and I think we have a number of students uh, in this winter school uh, from Belgium. We are in the process of drafting um, uh, an agreement, memorandum of understanding, so, so that we can also exchange students, like the case of Oxford. And we have in the process also, um, in the process of brainstorming now with many other universities worldwide, especially when it comes to our pr new program, Applied Islamic Ethics. We have also a number of um, uh, grants for our students to attend international workshops, um, um, uh, international conferences, to submit papers. Sometimes we organize a whole panel, we um, um, uh, submit a plan for a whole panel consisting of some professors and some students from um, um, uh, the college so that they uh, submit their research, the students their own thesis and uh, the professors their own research in these international conferences, these travels are also covered by, um, uh, by the college. Uh, we have also the um, uh, possibility of um, research assistance. Our students, when they are studying, uh, they have always the possibility of working as research assistants. This is also something paid and arranged by Kyle, the center, and by the college. And uh, we have also our funded research. The professors uh, at the research center, they apply for grants uh, through external funding. We have here in Qatar the Qatar National Research Fund, QNRF. Uh, the main funding agency for our research here, we get quite a lot of money um, uh, to, to, for funding our research. Currently, we have 
I think uh, something like 1.5 million dollar uh, fund for research that we are conducting here in in Kyle. So we have the professors, but we also need research assistants and research associates, usually coming from our students. One of the students who will hopefully present in the last day is currently one of my research assistants in 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 the funded projects that I'm working on. Um, almost all of them they have been working in uh, this regard. So these are some of the features uh, and activities that we do within the framework of teaching, which is our main focus here. As I said, besides um, teaching, we have research and we have uh, outreach activities. Um, I will not take um, much more uh, time from you uh, so that we can uh, remain uh, on the schedule. So I will give now the word to Dr. Samir uh, to start his own session. Uh, but maybe it's an idea that everyone says a few words about himself or herself. Oh, so, yeah. Like, like one sentence, give your name, uh, what you are doing at the moment, studying or working, and uh, from where you came. Is this OK? So just, just one sentence. So I, I will start with myself. I'm Mohammed Ghali. I came just from home uh, by car to here. And I work at Kyle. Very happy to see you all. Assalamu alaikum, Mukhtar Ali. I'm an uh, instructor here at, uh, at Kyle. I'll be giving the second section on philosophical ethics and Sufism. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muad Hawat. Um, I'm a uh, third year student Arabic and Islamic studies at University of Leuven. Uh, and I'm a Belgian. I'm, I live in Belgium, so uh, that's what's up. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Uh, my name is, well, it's so loud. <laughs> um, my name is Hania Iqbal, and um, I have bioethics background with Islamic ethics interest, and um, I've also studied philosophy at the university. I'm a French national, but I'm living in UK for the past 20 years, and um, I would like to pursue Islamic ethics and be a part of Kyle in the future. 
Uh, currently, I am a training, uh, I lead training and education department uh, in, uh, at NHS National Health Services in UK. So, glad to be here. Assalamu alaikum. I am from Kashmir, India, and I am a PhD scholar in Jamia Millia University. And um, other than that, I am like very keen to visit this place and being part of Kyle's. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Sarah Rahman from Vienna. I am also a PhD student in general education, and I work at the university in uh, Vienna and in Germany. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Resha Badr. I come from Jordan. Uh, I'm currently working in public health, but I'm hoping to join the Kyle Ethics Program. Uh, Ali Al Jamal. I teach economics at the American University of Kuwait. Anybody? Yeah? Okay. So the floor is yours. 